today is Monday, September the 27th, and I am starting my illustration of this Vox's Swift. This will be the first bird that I'm going to post for Birdtober. So I decided that I was only going to do three fully realized illustrations for the month of October for Birdtober. I'm going to do this Vox's Swift, a Western Tanager, and a Varied Thrush. I am going to be drawing daily, and I think I'm just going to post most of those drawings to my Instagram stories rather than trying to post a bird every single day. I did not want the pressure of doing a fully realized illustration of all 31 birds on my list, at least not in 31 days, because I know how long it takes to produce a bird illustration at the quality that I want to try to produce them. And so I decided that I would take this approach of just choosing three birds and doing really nice illustrations of those three birds and then just doing sketches of all the rest. So that's the plan for Birdtober. And today I'm starting on this illustration. I've drawn this on toned paper. This is a Stonehenge colored paper I've had for probably years in my supplies and hadn't used. So I went with a kind of a warm beigey color here. I'm going to overpaint that with some blue for the sky. And then I've got five Vox's Swifts, one in the foreground and then four in the background. And that's gonna be the illustration for October the 1st. So let's get started with some gouache.
Finch is getting very, very restless. So we'll see how this goes. How do you like my black t-shirt? Found it in the closet yesterday. Forgot I had it. Cut the collar right off of it. So here's where things stand at the end of today's painting session. I worked for about two hours on this box of Swift composition. I did change the composition part the way through because as I started looking at it, I realized that it started to look a little bit too symmetrical. So I added a few more birds, especially birds that were very small and farther back into the background. I'm very pleased with how expressive this piece is looking and the bird in the foreground particularly, I am really super, super excited about. I am going to start adding more details tomorrow, but I have other things to work on today, so I'm going to let this sit for a while, but so far so good on day one.
I am extremely pleased with how this painting turned out. I love, I love the colored paper and it worked great for, with the acrylic wash. I think I maybe had a little bit of buckling when I was doing the background, but I didn't use an excessive amount of water and so it did not buckle very much and there's certainly no buckling now. Um, it's so much more expressive than my work normally is. And this is something I've really wanted is to become more expressive with my brushwork and to be looser. And this has all of that looseness in it, but it's still accurate biologically. I love this little light right there behind the bird's head. It almost kind of looks like a bit of a halo. I am, I am really over the moon. This is, oh, this makes me feel so good. I added a few more swifts after I started it. When I painted the first four in, it began to look a little too symmetrical, so I added a few more. I really worried that this one was too dark, but when I showed it to Douglas, he said that it looked fine to him that, you know, they're often very dark when they're silhouetted against the sky and that I shouldn't worry about it. And uh, so I decided to leave that one as it is. Wow. Oh, that was fun. Uh, but this is a really nice study. I'm very pleased with it. So yay. Birdtober is off to a good start. Birdtober starts on October the 1st, Friday. So that's what go up on my Instagram um, on Friday, October the 1st. Yay.